okay, this little one is so active tonight. Probably because she's been in that ice chest sleeping for so long today. But we've hit 500 subs. And so I want to celebrate. It's been a drizzly wet week, and the last couple days we've had thunderstorms. Friday evening or Friday afternoon we had a thunderstorm that moved on and left us that evening with this beautiful sunset, which I just wanted to share with you. Um, I wish my camera phone was better because you're, it doesn't even do it justice. And this is Tiger, our, my barn cat, who keeps all the mice out of my house, which I am so thankful for, because I don't like mice in my house. But, getting back to the purpose of this video. This week, this YouTube channel hit 500 subscribers, and I'm so thankful. Um, it's an honor that that many people want to find out what I have to say. Um... And, yeah, I would like more views, but that's okay. They'll come as I improve. I know I need a lot of improvement. But getting back to 500 subscribers. A few months ago, when I hit 300 subscribers, oh, and there's that beautiful sunset, um, I started thinking about what I was going to do when I hit 500. There are certain milestones that many channels Give out get, thank you gifts. They'll they'll have a giveaway, and one lucky viewer will get a gift. And so I started trying to think of what I could do. Now I'm not really a crafty person, so I couldn't really do like I know some channels. The if they do woodworking or knitting or making goat milk soap or something of that nature, they'll give that out as a prize. Well, I'm not doing any of that kind of thing so that wasn't really an option and I really don't have any seeds to share and I mean I just couldn't think of anything that I already have to share but as I thought about what I would do it suddenly dawned on me you know I really wanted to do something unique something that represents the part of the country that I currently live in which, if you didn't know, okay, first of all, this is goat country. There are more goats in my area of Texas than anywhere else in the United States, literally. You can look on a map. It, it, that's not even up for question. I mean, this is goat country. This area is just, just perfect terrain for goats. Well, up until the 80s, this was actually... Angora goat country. Um, there was more Angora goats within a hundred miles of me than anywhere else on the planet. Even though the breed Angora goat actually comes from South Africa, I believe, we have more Angora goats than anywhere else on the planet. Now, in the 80s, the federal government stopped subsidizing Angora goats. So now there's boar goats and Spanish goats and a few other varieties, but it's still a major goat country. And so I started thinking about Angora goats. And to give you an idea, if you register your Angora, your white Angora goats, the organization that registers them is located in Rock Springs, Texas, which is the town closest to me. The school district mascot is the Angora goat, Billy Goat. That's their mascot. Though I chose to have dairy goats, mainly Nubians and a few boar goats, but the history of this area actually is the Angora goat. For those of you who are not goat experts or fiber experts, what makes Angora goats unique is that they produce mohair. Like sheep who produce wool, though there are some hair sheep out there, um, Angora goats produce more mohair, and they are actually sheared. You literally have somebody come to your ranch who shears, or you do it yourself, whichever, but the, the mohair is sheared off the goat, 
and made into fiber, into wool, um, not wool, but yarns and stuff. And so there's a lot of products out there. In fact, there's a, in a nearby town is a store that sells a ton of um, garments made with mohair. People have actually, you can buy mohair at the yarn stores and knit with it. So, after doing a lot of thinking, I've decided that the prize I would give away to one lucky winner for subscribing to my channel, you know, one of the 500 plus people who have subscribed, who are interested, is a pair of mohair socks. Now, one nice thing about mohair is it doesn't itch like wool does. Um, it's a much finer um, thread, I guess, or yarn, um, and it just doesn't itch. So a lot of mohair, I mean, mohair socks are sold right here in town. Not made here in town, but sold in the nearby town. And so they produce a really soft, warm sock. So the other day when I was at the feed store, I took a picture of the display rack where all the socks are for sale. Mohair cannot be used by itself. It won't hold its shape, I guess. I'm not sure. But nylon must be added. I own a pair of mohair socks and I absolutely love my socks. When it's cold outside, that's what I wear. So if you want to find out more about these socks or order them, here's the website and information so you can order them yourself. One lucky subscriber, though, will win a pair of mohair socks. In order to be entered into the giveaway, you must comment below in this video that you are a subscriber and that you want to win a pair of mohair socks. That's all you got to do, but you must comment in, below in this video. You must state you are a subscriber and you must state that you want to win a pair of mohair socks. You have until May 11th at noon to post below. At May, on May 11th at noon, this contest will end and I will draw a name.